Hello Salem, I'm your Mayor Chuck Bennett with updated information about what's happening in our great city. First let me say that Saturday, June 6, we experienced a historic event. More than 2,000 people attended the March for Floyd event at the state capitol in honor of Mr. George Floyd. I also want to let you know that the small business grants that we discussed a couple of weeks back will be open for application on June 15th. These grants provide financial support to small businesses or sole proprietorships with 40 or fewer employees experiencing negative economic impacts due to COVID. As we mentioned previously, Willamette Workforce Partnership is managing the application process, so visit their web page for details. For today's interview, I have Jennifer Keller with me. She's the Parks and Recreation Services Manager for the city, and we're going to talk parks. Well, phase one, phase two, the governor's lockdown order, all of that's at work. What are you guys doing to prepare? I, I was telling you earlier, one of the most common uh, emails I get is, when are the playgrounds open? <laughs> And we as well, that's one of the most common uh, points that are, are referenced for us. So if phase two goes into effect as early as tomorrow, playgrounds, um, park staff is ready to uh, open the playgrounds on Saturday. Right. Um, right, so we will put out some additional signage reflective of the governor's guidelines under phase two so that parents and users of the playground are aware of those. Um, park staff, as part of those guideline measures, will be doing more frequent and periodic cleanings throughout the day on the playground equipment. Um, so there'll be signage reflective of that so parents are aware that as we're taking care of those sanitation measures that we'll need their, them to remove their children from the playground equipment. Well, one of my understandings of that is uh, parents will be expected to take care of sanitation with their own kids as well. I mean that they're one of the the emphasis is on uh, parents keeping their kids' hands wiped. I mean, it's their, Absolutely. their owners. Here. Absolutely. Um, we, we are, in addition, um, opening restrooms at that same time. Right. Um, I was going to ask you that. So that kind of goes hand in hand yeah. with the sanitation um, measures and having easy access to facilities for hand washing um, where, that, uh, where that can apply. We'll put, be putting signage up, letting patrons know that there, again, similar to playgrounds, maybe periods where we need to kind of close that, do those sanitation measures, and then reopen for use. So now playgrounds are open. I can walk my dog. Mm -hmm. I can do all the walking and bicycling I have Correct. been able to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I can play tennis. You can. Uh, what about uh, what about other activities? So. Ver uh, in phase two, we will be adding that the multi-sport courts will be open. Um, some of those have tennis courts and basketball courts and all Pickle, of that. Pickleball. Pickleball as well. Um, again, social social uh, distancing guidelines apply and mm -hmm. you know refrain from contact, but those courts will be open. All of the parks amenities will be open for use with the exception of the splash pads. Okay. Um, we're not able to open those at this time. Um, it's still cool out. It is. Um, and the other really is really from a sanitation standpoint. Salem has 90 parks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and we have rules for those parks. Can you kind of talk a little bit about generally about uh, kind of what's expected and why they're so important? So, you know, there's really just the, the basic rules of the park and that the ones that the most prolific one that certainly uh, we get a uh, reaction from is the dogs on leash in parks. Yeah. The really, the, the rules in, for parks are in place really to make for all parks users to have the most welcoming and friendly environment. So no matter what you're doing, what amenities you're accessing in the parks, that you're able to do that without being in conflict of other parks users who may not share uh, those same amenities or those, yeah. or those same uses. Um, so we do offer in three, uh, three of our parks off-leash dog areas for those that 
don't want to walk their dog on a leash in Which the park. Three? So we have them at Minto Brown, okay. um, and that's obviously a very highly used, probably right. the most highly used off-leash dog park. That's the one I think most of park. us know about. Right. Yeah. Um, additionally, we have off-leash dog areas at Cascade Gateway Park and okay. at Orchard Heights uh, Park in West Salem. Oh, great. You also, your parks and recreation. Mm -hmm. and talk a little about your recreation programs. They're really popular. Again, we hear quite a bit about, about them. And what are the plans Come going forward. So we're very pleased and excited that we are able to offer some opportunities for uh, both youth and adults for recreation programming. For uh, adults, for example, um, we are offering the softball and kickball leagues, which okay. are held out at Wells Marine. Uh, and those Star will Complex. happen this Those summer. will happen. Great. Those will happen potentially, again, with phase two, um, uh, when, with phase two, when that opens, is we would be able to do that as early as June 21st. The focus wow. will be on league play, and obviously with the guidelines, there's some protocols that are put in place that would allow us to happen. Can I do a pickup game, though, and at uh, any of our parks? parks uh, if I've just got if we just wanted to go like to gear would a group of us want to play ball somewhere you can do drop in as long as you're meeting the do social distancing guidelines okay. and it hasn't been reserved by another entity so how about the kids so the youth programs uh, uh, again it's a it's a more limited skill but still very diversified we will have um, self-check stations um, where our program offerings uh, are being held we are also are having a trying something new and having a couple of virtual offerings for a couple of our youth programs. Um, so if parents are concerned or have some reluctance in wanting their child to participate in person, um, a Lego camp uh, oh. virtually, we're doing um, a kids walk run club virtually, we're doing a soccer uh, program virtually as well, wow. uh, virtually as well as uh, um, uh, that you can do it in person. Well, great. Well, it sounds like lots going on mm -hmm. in parks and recreation. It's your season. So. It is our season, <laughs> and we're excited that we're able to, to finally get up and, and let kids come out and, and play and enjoy it. Fantastic. Well, have a wonderful season. Thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll probably talk again when it's <laughs> over. I'm real curious about virtual recreation. I think there'll be some real interest in how'd that go. So, Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you for inviting me. And uh, thank you. We uh, look forward to seeing you next week.